At the beginning level, the teacher does all of the work in solving the problem. She does not monitor all students for the desired effect. Girls, who can tell me what we need to do to solve a story problem? What's our first step? Uh, understand. Understanding. So we're going to think and we're going to read it. Okay? All right, let's read the problem together. Here we go. Now we put some crackers on a tray. She put the crackers in three rows with five crackers per row. How many crackers did she put on the tray? Boys and girls, today I would like you to do a quick array for me. Show me what a quick array looks like. At the developing level, our teacher is using the strategy. However, she stays at the front of the classroom to prepare the next part of the lesson rather than monitoring the student's work. All right, boys and girls, who can tell me what our first step in the problem solving process is? David. Understanding it. We're going to read it and we're going to think about the problem. Okay, let's read it together. Here we go. Zach has a box of crayons. The crayons are arranged in four rows with six crayons in each row. How many crayons are in the box? Who can tell me what our next step in the problem solving process? Grady. Making a plan. Right now I want you to make a plan and I want you to show me how to solve that problem as many ways as you can. <coughs> To move to the applying level, the teacher implements some routines for monitoring. She moves about the classroom observing each student's work on the whiteboards. She also has students come to the front and explain their rationale for solving the problem. By asking students to solve the problem in multiple ways and justify their thinking, she has engaged the students in complex tasks. Solving a problem is Caden. Plan. Making a plan. So right now, I want you to make a plan, and I want you to show me as many ways as you can to solve this problem. Excellent strategies. What I would like you to do is please put your marker and eraser above your board. And when I say showdown, I want to see as many, I want to see all of our boards up so I can see all those great strategies. One, two, three, showdown. Oh, thank you for putting your board up right away. All right, boards down. Okay. Grace, could you please come up? Okay. Grace, could you tell me about this? problem that you did right here for us. Okay, so the problem was 7 times 5, so I do 7 circles with 5 dots in each one, and then I counted 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and I got 35, Okay, so why, who can tell me why there's 7 circles with 5 in each one? Who can tell me why there's 7 circles with 5 in each one? Brooks? Those are 7 groups of 5. There's seven groups of five. Very good. Now, Olivia, could you please come up? Brooks just told me that there were seven groups of five. Now, this picture doesn't look like this one. Can you add on to what Grace said and tell me about this one? Well, the community of property said that you can switch your factors and get the same product. So she switched her factors and did five groups of seven, and then seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. Excellent job. Very good. Okay. All right. At the innovating level, 
Our teacher adapts her lesson to meet the individual needs of students in her classroom. Today, I'm going to have you do this problem for me. Okay? We have some different numbers in here that I think would be a better choice for you to do. Okay? So can you show me how to solve this problem?